<laughs> Although Intel's new Devil's Canyon line of CPUs have been stealing most of the buzz, many have forgot that Intel also released a new Pentium chip with an unlocked core for overclocking. At around $70, the new Pentium G3258 is definitely looking to be one of the best budget gaming PC processors currently out on the market. All tests were done using the stock Intel heatsink, even including the overclock benchmarks. When we put the Pentium chip underwater and tried to push it further, it would blue screen of death regardless of the voltage we threw at it, so we felt just including the stock heatsink numbers would be enough. After all, this is a budget chip, so the numbers we got will likely be achievable by most users. In our power draw test, we used a kilowatt to measure the total system power draw when both idle and under load. What we found was that at stock settings, the Pentium drew about 3 watts less power than the i3-4330 when stock. When we overclocked the Pentium and increased the core, the processor drew about 27 more watts when idle and about 36 more when under load. In our temperature test, we let the computer run the link stress test for about 30 minutes in order to get our load temperatures. For the overclocked and stock results, we used the stock heatsink to help give us a neutral starting point. At stock, the Pentium chip ran about 8 degrees cooler than the i3-4330 under load, but when overclocked, ran about 27 degrees hotter than the i3-4330. In the arithmetic test, the stock Pentium ran much slower than the i3 processor. However, when overclocked, the Pentium actually beat out the i3 by 0.7 points. In the cryptography test, the Pentium was no match for the i3 regardless if it was overclocked or not. Lastly, in our Cinebench run, we found that when overclock, the Pentium was pretty much on par with the i3-4330. In the end, the new Pentium Anniversary G3258 is definitely an amazing chip considering the $70 price tag. The i3-4330 processor is nearly twice as much, but when overclocked, the Pentium nearly matched it or beat it in a lot of our tests. However, what this means is that when it comes to gaming remains to be seen. We will definitely be benchmarking both setups in games like Battlefield to see if the Pentium really does make a good gaming chip.